Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Brand Live. So today I am going to be taking out my braids, my protective style braids with you guys. I don't know what I should call this. Should I call this the takedown or I don't know what to call it guys, but I thought that I should come back and do this all over again because you guys seem to like the first one that I did about two or so months ago in December. So um, yeah, if you're interested in seeing me take down my braids, then just keep on watching. I'm drinking this tea that's supposed to be beneficial for hair growth and all things like that so I'm testing out right now for you guys and I will have a video on it very soon so I'm just drinking that chilling in my PJs as you guys can see and I'm gonna be taking down my braids today I've had these braids in for probably about a month or so I have a lot of growth guys as you can see It's definitely time for these braids to come out guys. While I'm doing this, I just want to answer a few questions that you all had on the previous takedown video where I was taking out my braids. Someone asked me how long should they wait after they take out their braids to get a relaxer. Should they like take down the braids and um, like relax right then or should they wait? When I have my protective style braids in, I'm usually like scratching my head. Um, there's usually a lot of brushing of my edges when I put my like frontal when I want to tack my frontal units down and things like that it's a lot of manipulation in my scalp even when I'm taking down my braids because I'm combing my hair I'm taking my braids out so I would not recommend anybody to put a relaxer in their head right after taking down braids like this. It is good to wait till your hair is dirty to do your relaxer, but like I said, when you're taking down braids like of this magnitude, it may not be the smartest idea. So I would say I would wash my hair and I would do whatever style, whether that's a braid out, twist out, um, even if I'm braiding my hair back down, but I wouldn't wait like that long. I would probably just wait like two weeks, two to three weeks to go ahead and put the relaxer in. And I hope you're able to understand it. But if you have any questions, then you can just leave them down below. As I am taking out these braids, I'm getting a lot of shedding. And it was kind of weird because when I got my hair braided down this time, I let someone else braid it down. and. It was like short pieces sticking out of my braids and I'm not sure why that is. Never happened to me before. I guess I'm about to find out if I'm bald headed. I'm not too freaked out by the shedding because I know, you know, I've had these braids in for a while. But I am kind of freaked out by these. Like if you guys can see, I have like these little short pieces sticking up. And that makes no sense because I'm like, what is that even coming from? I don't get it. While I've had these braids in, I definitely have been oiling my scalp. I have been putting some moisturizer on. And I haven't been doing it as much as I should have. But I've definitely been oiling my hair still with my um, wild growth. And I've also been using leave-in conditioners and also um, my Cantu. Um, moisturizer and stuff like that so it does feel pretty moisturized right now as I am taking my braids down another question I received on my other takedown video was um, how do I keep my bang area and my edges so healthy and that's just leaving it alone a lot of people have these humongous leave outs in their flat earning their leave outs every day. They are um, trying to blend their leave outs with the weave and honey. I stopped doing that a long time ago. When my hair was shorter, like um, my freshman year of college, I did wear U-part wigs back then. And that's because my hair was much more manageable. 
and I honestly didn't have to do much to my hair for it to blend with my weave because it was just so it was shorter than what it is now and um it was kind of like the way that I wrapped my hair up with my weaves it just kind of it worked out really good but now my hair is longer I just don't have time to deal with my hair so all of my units have closures all of my units have frontals either or and if I do um, I do have a video of me with a U-part wig here on my channel a couple of times but um, it's like I made the hair kind of fit for for my leave out so I kind of made used these crimping irons to make the weave appear like a kinky texture so like a kinky straight texture like my hair is my real hair and um, I did do a couple times where I just really wanted like a certain hairstyle and I wanted with a natural leave out and I had to put up with my hair but in those cases it's like I won't leave it in for long like I'll have to take it out after I go to whatever event that I'm trying to wear that hairstyle to it's like right after that is I have to take it out because leave outs are a hassle guys they really are so um all I can say to you guys is don't do anything that will compromise your edges or your leave outs the front of your hair just don't do it and I know sometimes you want certain hairstyles but it's either like okay do I want to have healthy hair or do I want my hair to be damaged and if you're okay with damaged hair then go ahead but the way that I keep my hair in the best health is just um, weaves putting it up putting it away and and having weaves in I've been using the um, got to be glued gel to lay down my edges so it is kind of like gunked up here so it's kind of gunked like right here in the front so I may just take my rat tail comb like at the very end of it and try to just work my way through it like that but this is kind of like detangling it beforehand and I did try to wash this out last night but um, getting in between these braids is only so much you can do so guys when you are taking out your old old braids just make sure that you're detangling properly because you do not want to get in the shower and put water on knots. Putting water on knotty hair, that's a no-go. And never let anybody tell you to do that because you will end up in a world of trouble. So, and I got it out just like that. Now mind you, it's still a little bit of product in these parts of the braids but it's okay as long as you get out most of it and you don't want to compromise the knots meaning you don't want to pull your hair but you want to try to get as much of that out as possible of my dry hair um, my hair is moisturized and as you guys can see it just has like a nat natural shine to it so it's strong it's healthy and it's growing and um, moisturizing and sealed the whole time that my braids were in that just kind of ensured that um, when I'm taking it out I'm not combing dry brittle hair 
I'm actually combing moisturized hair. So um, that's the plus of doing all those things while your hair is braided up. Okay guys, so I'm finally finished detangling all of this hair on my head and I am going to wash my hair and um, go into another protective style because I'm not wearing my hair out. Um, guys, my hair is so moisturized and I get so excited every single time because I'm like, you know, I, although I'm lacking with um, moisturizing and sealing my hair when it's in the braids, it's still so moisturized because it holds on to all that moisture. And if you guys can see my hands, they are super oily. So guys, I think I'm going to be ending all of my takedown videos with my big fro and hopefully it just gets bigger and bigger the more that I do them. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in my next video. Please subscribe down below, comment down below and let me know what you guys think the name of these videos should be. The takedown or whatever you think. I'm thinking the takedown because that's what I keep saying. But if you guys have any other names that you think I should call this then go ahead and I'm going to tell you guys to leave comments and questions down below so that in my next takedown video, I can answer your all's questions. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.